Hello children and welcome to another story time. Today we're going to become animal detectives. So get ready because we are going to see if we can find which animals are hiding in the pages. My first book of garden wildlife by Mike Unwin, illustrated by Tony Sanchez. Guess who? Yellow and purple, orange and white, crocuses are sprouting up all over. Spring must be on the way. But why is that flower shaking about? And what's that funny noise? A bumblebee! The spring sunshine has woken up a bumblebee. It had been fast asleep under some leaves since autumn. Now it is visiting flowers to sip their sweet nectar. Those yellow lumps on its furry legs are pollen. This comes from inside the flower and the bumblebee carries pollen from one flower to the next. It helps new flowers to grow. Guess who? Plants are bursting into life all over the garden. Look at the new buds and fresh green leaves. But look closer. Are they all leaves? Or can you see someone hiding? A butterfly! A flash of yellow. It's a brimstone, the first butterfly of spring. It looked just like a leaf when its wings were folded. Not even hungry birds could spot it. But now it swoops and flutters around the garden as bright as a daffodil. Guess who? Something scurrying along the wall, gathering moss. It sticks its beak into every nook and cranny. It's small and brown, like a mouse, but it's covered in feathers. Who is it? A wren. It's a wren. You can see his pointy beak and sticky up tail. This busy little bird builds his nest in a hidden hole. He uses moss, leaves and grass to make it strong and snug. A male may make more than five nests, but a female chooses just one of them. Then she lines it with soft feathers and lays her eggs inside. Guess who? Snuffle, sniffle, grunt. Something is shuffling around the flower bed. Do you see that twitchy nose? Shh, here it comes. Who can it be? A hedgehog. It's a hedgehog. Searching for slugs, worms and snails. At the first sign of danger, it rolls up into a spiky ball. Don't touch. Those spines are sharp. Look out for hedgehogs at night, especially after rain. Try leaving out a little cat food in a saucer. It makes a tasty change from slugs. Guess who? Something else is fluttering around in the dark. It's too big to be a moth. But it's not a bird either. It chases insects in crazy circles around the treetops. What can it be? A bat! It's a furry bat! Her wings are made of stretchy skin spread out between long fingers. By day, bats rest in a hidden hole in a tree or building. They fold their wings and hang upside down by their feet. At night, bats come out to chase moths and other insects. They catch their food in mid-air. Guess who? Nibble, nibble, nibble. See those tiny tooth marks? Somebody has been nibbling the strawberries. Somebody with a long tail. Who can it be? It's a house mouse. Mice can live in houses and gardens. They dig little burrows and build nests of grass inside. Those sharp little teeth nibble all sorts of things. Fruit, nuts and seeds. Sometimes even worms. Look out, they might nibble your food too. Guess who? Winter is on the way and the weather is turning colder. But one bird keeps on singing. The singer is hard to spot. High in a tree, 
Can you tell who it is? A robin. It's a robin. Now you can see the bright red breast. This little bird sings all year long, sometimes even at night. His song tells other male robins that the garden belongs to him. In spring, a female robin will join him and together they will build a nest. Oh, did you like that, children? There are lots more animals to discover in this book. It's also great because you can find out what types of food and what types of habitat the animals like. And it will even give you clues to help spot which animals might be in your garden. Have a look and see if you can find some animals lurking where you live. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye.